my hero Yo, show me what I gotta do Made up my mind, wanna be like you We don't care, whatever you say I know I'll be serving you Welcome to Kindle 101. For this lesson, we'll be going over the Kindle vs. Mr. Compressed matchup, covering his alpha, beta, and gamma, listing various ways on how to deal with them and to potentially win this matchup. During this lesson, we'll be using the same terms I used during my Kindle guide. Starting us off, Mr. Compressed's alpha. Mr. Compressed's alpha is a set of two projectiles. The first projectile is the pebble that he throws, as the second projectile is whatever object that then pops out of it. Although Mr. Compressed may not pose much of a threat, his alphas can actually be quite dangerous. The reason being is because his first projectile actually counts as a physical attack, specifically when hitting you on your shield, thus causing a stagger. What this means is that you could potentially get stun locked into losing all of your shield in one combo or sequence depending on the situation. With all this being said, being wary of blocking his alpha with your beta is extremely important, as well as being careful with your approach when trying to apply pressure. Next up, Mr. Compressor's Beta. Mr. Compressor's Beta, like Kendo, is in fact a shield. His shield, however, functions differently than Kendo's. Where their shields differ is in the fact that his shield fully reflects projectiles, and that's it. What this means is that he is unable to block melee attacks. On top of this, he has to fully let down his shield before doing any other action, unlike Kendo. This additionally means that you have a higher chance of getting a guaranteed hit on him, before he can fully let down his shield to potentially dodge the attack. Lastly, Mr. Compressor's Gamma. Mr. Compressor's Gamma allows him to snap his fingers, causing a small AoE attack from the burst of smoke that he leaves behind, as he launches himself into a random direction. The direction he goes in, however, can be followed if you're swift enough to catch the sight of the flying pebble that he's in. Now, when it comes to shutting this down, as long as you hit him with a melee attack, you're able to stop him from flying off. Overall, when facing Mr. Compress, you'll want to be wary of his alpha, rush down his beta, and be ready to catch his gamma whenever he tries to escape. My hero.